Good morning, everyone. It's actually almost noon. Um, I've been trying all morning to get something done and I'm not doing very good. Um, I was going to get some coffee dyed uh, muslin to put on the edges of these uh, pages to see how it was going to look. And I didn't have any, so I'm in there coffee dyeing and it wasn't long, strong enough. So anyway and then Sedona the cat brought me a present of a mouse this morning so that was kind of sickening anyway so I was going to make one of these little uh, uh, zigzag folders and I made one I wanted it to be on this side of this center page but I wanted a duplicate one on this side and for some reason I you can't do that um, yeah it just uh, I tried it this way I've tried it this way but see that point always comes up on that side the same as this so and then um, I had all I had is um, the white background of the of the design I liked so I decided that I was going to cover the background and then I'll show you what I did instead. It just made it a little bit easier. Plus it makes this a little bit sturdier. So to get this in reverse, my thought is I need to measure this side. It's seven and a quarter. So if you were going to measure it over here, your point would be the highest. This is seven and a, and a quarter inches. Well, it's a little less but you see what I'm saying so I'm gonna do it this way and I hope that I can fold it up and then this one's gonna be measured at three and a half oh, let me go out here so I can mark it uh, three and a half okay so if you have a cutting um, like a cutter like I do you can slip it in here and get it lined up to cut like there and there and it barely fits so like that. now we can make another one out of this too I just um, don't need that many right now so now that we've got this one cut it should fold together let me just Get an eyeball here. Yes, see, that way the point will be up at the top to match that point. So that's what you need to do is do one, if you want to make opposites, just whichever side you decide to cut from. Now we need to score it, or you can eyeball it. Um, I think I'd rather just score at four inches just come down here this is my uh, four inches here and then I'm going to come over here and go four inches so that would put this in whoop this 12 8 inch paper in okay so now I want this I think to go that way and this to go this way oh and I was going to tell you that I watched this lady make this because I forgot about these I made them a long time ago but she brought it back to me and her name is um, I don't know her name but she's bumblebee crafts and she calls them the zigzag pockets 12 by 12s and um, I'll put her link in the in the description because I'd like to have you go over and check her out she has other things that she made and uh, she also does slow stitching uh, so that's kind of how I came across her is through the slow stitching that she does but she does quite a bit of uh, journaling uh, makes also um, yeah I mean I've seen this many times made and I've made it but I'm putting this ink on here I didn't probably ink this one. yeah I did okay and then I'm inking 
inside here too because I want it to not show because my paper didn't quite match up last time. So this way, if it doesn't, then we're okay. All right, so now, oh, I don't have one on the other, uh, go in the other direction. So I have to just cut it. So what I, let's see this, now she's gonna be cut away. Am I gonna get her head? Hmm. No. No, I'll just get her face, that's not good. Wrong way. Let's see. These are also oh that one. But I don't really want that. Hmm. It's because I didn't cut two of them <laughs> back to back. I thought I could get away with one. All right. Let's see. Make it happen. This one here, if I go upside down, it won't be um, that noticeable. I don't want to put the same color there. So I'm just going to, you know what, I think I'll glue it down and then I'll come back and trim. I'm in a, a rush now. I mean, it seemed like everything I went to do just kind of um, stopped me in my tracks with the cat and all that. And then I kind of wanted to work on the cover. And I think um, this is not going to take that long, this um, video, this part of it. So I thought I'd stop the video and then come back and do once my fabric is dry or not I mean I may come back and just work on the top of the journal the front cover is I don't need those ties yet but it's just it was just where I was <laughs> wanted them wanted those ties okay so if everybody's good today I'm going to, I think I'm putting this video out on a Saturday. For some reason, I thought I would do that. Okay. Oh my goodness, come on. Not easy to go the opposite direction. Okay, so now I can glue this down here and make a pocket. Or I can. Oh, sorry. sorry. That was my friend, and I was just thinking about her. We always do that when I'm thinking of her. She lives in California. And if I'm thinking of her, all of a sudden I get a phone call. Um, now, you could leave this open. Then you could put a bigger journal card in it. It depends on where you're going to set it. I think I'll just leave it open for the for this this time. I had to go back to the other glue tip. I wanted to use that other bottle but okay yeah I glued the bottom okay and I don't know what happened to the sound yesterday or I don't know which day it was now it was yesterday for me because today's Friday so Wednesday's video Okay, so that's glued. So we've got a pocket here, and then we've got a tuck back here. And
and that's going to go on this page like that. This one I haven't glued yet, but I kind of thought, well, let's see. I don't want to make this a tuck. I wouldn't work very well. So I'm not going to make this one a tuck either. Okay, so this one gets glued. I like this little piece of paper. It has cherries on it. So it reminds me of cooking, making pie. So I was going to glue these back to back, the the uh, scrapbook paper, because it's very thin, very thin, pretty thin. And um, then I thought, no, I'm just going to see if I can't tuck paper in and cover up the white. So that worked out pretty good. So those are going to get glued down in here. Um, I don't know what journal cards I'm going to have. So I've got two more pockets over here. So, and you, yeah, you get like two out of every one you do. Um, let me get my little book here. Just want to see what I have real quick. And uh, journal cards. Because I do have some, I, so I don't have to run and make Journal cards, so I got like that one. Is it gonna fit? Yeah, that hides the whole front one. I don't want that. So I could put it like that. And this one I don't think is gonna fit. Oh, maybe. Um. Oops. <laughs> Poked out the bottom. <laughs> Guess I need to glue that. I don't know. I think I don't want that really. I don't know what I want. Maybe I think I just need another tag, but smaller. I think. Um, let's see if I have any more. I thought I had a few small ones. These are almost too small, but that's okay. They can pick, peek out that way like that. And this is the same thing. Fairy cake, so... Um, tall one. not be going all the way down or so it's not very sturdy I'm gonna have to really glue this in let's see so that should go all the way down oh it looks bigger hmm. oh well I'll get it down there I just have to probably get something inside there and loosen up the glue wherever I glued it. There. Okay. Still could be a little low. A little shorter. Okay, so that's kind of what I had for an idea for that page. Now I just need to come up with ideas for several more pages. <laughs> it's kind of just sort of hard to you know, and then I want something here too, but I don't really have, um, oh, what, can I, what could I put there? Um, thing, I don't have things that go with cooking. That's my issue. Well, that one was, that didn't go. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'll get my flower. I 
this might not look too bad there if I maybe could put something else. Let's go to the outside here. And then I could maybe put a couple words or something, or some word. I do like those pink roses with this. That one's got yellow on it, too. Um, but yellow's okay. I mean, I've got yellow in the background. So, all right. So I'm going to put those on and find something else. But I have to, you know, get everything cleaned up on that page. of everything. The button. Okay. So that's it. And so what I'm going to do is stop here. How much time did I spend? 16 minutes. Okay. I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to come back and uh, work on my cover. I want to do it in my other room because um, a lot of my uh, lace and stuff is over, is in my other uh, room in, in drawers and things so I didn't want to go in there and hunt for everything. This way I can just pull it out and try it and you know go back yeah. okay so let me do that and I will be back with you guys in a little while okay hold on Okay, I'm back. I hope everybody can see in this, um, in my area here. This is usually where I do slow stitch. So I have the two book covers that I, I took off and this one is um, the smooth edges here. So when I go and fold it together, I want those uh, smooth edges to be on the outside of the book and this will be inside. So then I'm gonna take these, um, pieces and glue them down before I put uh, the other things on. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to cut this? Because I'm not sure. Um, I feel like I want this to kind of come over this, but not too much. Let's see. Let me trim this off just a tad over here. don't want it to get too bulky in there. All right. So I'm just going to put glue stick on here and to secure this part because um, it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's going to be glued down from the inside. sure I get it even on all sides. Okay. I like that fabric. I do like that fabric. I was looking um my doilies and lace and stuff and kind of getting low I mean I have I have a lot but it's a lot that I keep putting back because it doesn't work for me so I have to go shopping antiquing and that stuff is expensive because they don't even put their you know if they got a piece of linen and it's got a spot on it. They don't even sell it. They just keep it or throw it away, I guess, because nobody's going to buy it if they're collecting it. But I buy it because I don't need all the, the whole piece. I just take pieces off. Okay, so this is going to be that way, and this is going to be this way. So here is my little, uh, little girl here. She's going to go over that, and then I hope 
I'm going to have enough to actually cover this side too. So let's see if I think if I cut right along that line or rip that, should be enough on both sides. I'll check this side first. Yeah, okay, good. So that one's going there. And this one is going to go here. I might not do the other cover, uh, other side on camera. I'll just do this one because I want to get around to actually doing the decorating. So let's see if I go. I think I'm worried about turning. I don't want it to be so bulky in there. Yeah, how am I going to do that? I think I'm going to have to really cut this a lot closer. You know, this stuff is not something I've done before because I've never used the same thing twice. The style of this book I have done before, I don't remember what journal it was. that I use this. Gosh, a little difficult to cut. It's a heavy linen. keep texting me to go vote. How do they know I haven't voted yet? Or do they know? That's the question. <laughs> or do they? Okay. That actually looks like it's pretty straight on. It's kind of hard to... I don't know if I should go over a little. I guess not. I'm just going to leave it there. That's, that's what it's going to be. Now, I'm not going to glue this part down. I'm going to just glue the edges. So, I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to use glue stick. here and then I'm going to put my weld glue here and that way the glue stick will hold it down and then when the other glue dries it'll have it it'll be very secure okay now I think I'm gonna cut let me see how this looks Bulk. All right, I'm going to cut it out and hope for the best because I have to start all over if it doesn't work. Just leaving a little bit left there so that it's okay. Actually, I think I'll put some glue stick there. Hold this down. Okay. Let's get this side done. The 
this table says, you have never put glue on this table before. What are you doing? problem with corners. See, that's like it just has to look good to you, you know? And of course, there's always corners that we can add on if we want. Go stick this. The well glue, which really holds fabric very well, very well. It's another cold day here. I wonder if anybody else is getting a lot of cold weather. I know my sister in Michigan said it was cold, but to her, it's still not that cold yet. check this. I want to make sure that yeah, see, I, don't, I can't even move this once you get it glued down. So, let's do this corner here. Just going to check and make sure that's I wish there was, you know, a science to this, and there probably is, I just don't know, you know, uh, to be able to measure and know exactly how you want things to turn or how much room you need. Now, see, I don't like that at all. So what, why is that like? I'm just afraid if I cut it too much, then that book is going to show. I am going to be covering all this too, so 